Alright, so now let me show you how to make your own custom style classes and also how to use IDs. So we already know that anytime you want to style all the labels, then you can just use the label class. Anytime you want to style all the buttons, then you can just use the button class. And again, the naming convention is just whatever the name of the class is. Let's see if I can find a button. So it's pretty much the name of the class, such as button or label, and then you just lowercase it. All right, that's great and all, but we want to make our own custom ones. For example, let's say that I wanted to make an own custom style for a blue button. So I'm going to copy all of the ones from button because I don't feel like typing it over again. So you can actually just say button and give it your own name, blue. So pretty much just like making anything like a CSS for a website, you can pretty much do in Java FX. Now, it's actually probably a good idea if we get a blue color. 7C AFC2. 7C AFC2. All right. So this is going to give whatever class button blue a cool blue background. So what we can do here is let me add one more button to the screen. I'll say um so we have a login button and if the user doesn't have an account then they can just sign up and I'll just type it I'm not that lazy so button sign up button equals new button sign up so grid pane set constraints so for the sign in button the position of this is one three and that'll put it right under the login button and of course we need to add it to the screen so check it out alright so right now I just made a plain button and added it to the screen so of course it's going to inherit all the properties from the generic button class however if I want to use my cool new blue or excuse me button blue class then what I can do is this for the sign up button I can get style class and then I can add button blue to it. So again, this is still going to inherit all the properties from the buttons before, but it's going to be overridden with our button blue. So hopefully, what we can see is we get a cool looking blue button. And of course, I would usually want to do something like, uh, you know, make the text a little bit easier to read on that but you guys understand the concept. So that is how you use your own custom style classes in addition to the built-in ones that are given to you by default. And the last thing I want to show you guys is how to work with IDs because if you guys ever use CSS, you probably are going to want to learn how to do that. And just like before, I don't want to say before, maybe you never even use CSS, but anytime you want to add an ID, you use the pound sign. I think it's called the pound sign, the hash, the number, the tag, whatever it's called. And you can just name your ID anything you want. So say that I wanted to apply an ID to certain labels to bold them. I don't know, maybe for some reason, this username label, label I want it to be bold. Why? I have no idea, but I'm doing it anyways. So I'll just call it something like bold label. And anytime you want to bold something, it's actually font weight and you can just set it equal to a numerical value or bold and yeah I'll just keep it real simple alright so now we have this ID of bold label now we just have to apply it to this name label so name label set ID and I believe it was called bold let me make sure bold label so now we stuck this bold label ID on this name label so whenever it's trying to style it's gonna say okay what do you want me to do hop over to this bold label obviously be bolded or be bold alright now check it out you see how password is normal well this bold label is now bold that might be a little bit hard to see on your screen but I assure you it is indeed bold and now that you understand the core basics of working with CSS and JavaFX the next thing you probably want to do is start learning about all of these different properties, the background color, text fill, 
radius, whatever. But of course, it would be kind of boring if I just sat here and talked to you. And when you can just look online real quick and you know, kind of understand them all. So there you go. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If not, well, don't know what to tell you. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.